Let's not just rely on big, big but pharmaceutical drugs. Let me ask you, is this proven results that could help you know, improve our health? For 700 years, yes. the caliphate mm -hmm. relied on herbal medicines for its community. Yeah. Bamate says that the, the Islamic hospitals were superior mm -hmm. to the, those hospitals today in hygiene. Yes. So Akara uh, uh, Devaq was actually the one mm -hmm. who said that, the Frenchman. So uh, the, a rose water fountain mm -hmm. uh, using oregano oil in the hospital is more effective than what the hospitals are using today. But they won't accept it easily. Let me give you an mm -hmm. example. There was a surgical suite in Europe that was contaminated mm -hmm. by uh, a blot botulism germ. Mm -hmm. They couldn't use the suite anymore. Yes. They took my advice and sprayed the suite down with an oregano oil-based spray because oregano oil is a germicide. It sterilized the suite. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Yeah. But again, how do you move it into modern medicine? That's why I'm urging the people, proof, yeah. does modern medicine, when, when you have a bypass surgery done, mm -hmm. is there any proof that it works? Or is it because the surgeon says you should do well, it? Well, hopefully the person is feeling better. We have to go for a break. Please stand by. We have a lot more to discuss. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Spirit of Islam. We're talking about herbal medicine. It's a very interesting discussion, but I'd like to comment that, you know, regardless what you hear, for your specific situation, maybe you should consult your doctor still to find out what specifically is wrong for you. Uh, my guest today is Dr. Qasim Khalil. And it's very interesting discussion. Yeah. So, Herbal, what should we do? Well, what should we, we know? should <clears throat> look. You know, as far as this this proof thing, uh, you know, you can prove yourself until you turn purple. Yes. You can double blind yourself until you turn double blind. Mm -hmm. You can, you know, you can ask yourself: Does even bi the big pharmaceutical houses have outside proof where they do the studies in independent labs, or do they do it mostly internal? That's a mm -hmm. whole interesting thing. Now. But it's enough for me that the great Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, for instance, take black seed for all your ailments yes. except death. It's, good, it's a great cure. Could you explain to our audience what's the black seed? Black seed is nigella seed. It's not black cumin. It's not black sesame. It's nigella seed. It grows in Anatolia mm -hmm. and North Africa and, and Saudi. Where could they buy it from? They can buy it at the ethnic stores. Mm -hmm. uh, they, yeah. uh, and so... It's a very potent antiseptic. Yes. It's a, a fantastic a carminative. It calms the intestinal tract. It has a substance the Saudi research has documented that calms the heart. It's good for high blood pressure. Saudi research, again, the Egyptians have shown it's good for bronchitis. The Egyptians have shown it's, it's good for cough. It's good for asthma. Now, we know black seed has a number of but unique what properties. What about its oil? There's black seed oil. oil Is or it as seed? effective? What's better? Well... Look. Oils are concentrate, and oils are particularly good for the heart and the liver. The seed might be better for immunity. It has everything in it, and mm -hmm. the intestine is in general. But they're both good, and you can go into some of the health food stores as well and try to yeah. find some high-end products there and, and so forth. But the important thing is, he said it's very effective, and then we find out 2,000 years later. Now, it's enough for me that he said it. I still like the research. Then he said, take... Uh, za'atar, or actually, and I, I like to use the oil of oregano, I use the oregano, mm -hmm. I, I know yeah. the P73 that's really edible, and it's from Turkey, from the mountains. Mm -hmm. Take it for the common cold. It cures yeah. it. He said it, right? It's enough for me. It, Jesus said, take hot ointments, and those ointments had mm -hmm. oregano and thyme. It's the best medicine. It's sufficient for me. Okay. Now, uh, I still will as you know, publish that data. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's at least a, a, a way to launch mm -hmm. a person into looking into it. So where would somebody like myself who, let's say, want to use herbal medicine, find the right herbs for the That's right... That's the hard part. Finding the right ones is difficult to get the quality. Yeah. Because there's always adulteration in some things from China sometimes, or lower quality this, or less quality that. When it comes to black seed, you can go to your ethnic store and see if they have a high quality seed that's fresh. There's an, there's an oil of black seed plus capsules and oil in a blue label in the mm -hmm. health stores. There's also a blue and yellow label oregano oil that's excellent quality mm -hmm. in the health store. So I just, that's the yeah. one I take. Uh, you can go to your health food store and ask what's the top quality. But I like the, you know, the oregano. But should you yeah. take oregano and the black How's seed how you do it? regardless every day? Here's how you do it. Here's how you do it. If you want top health. 
Yes. You ought to use a little black seed every day or every other day. In the morning, does it matter? Uh, in the morning to stimulate the metabolism, uh, but you know the ethnic people like to put it on the bread with the meals, mm -hmm. so uh, it, once or twice a day. Uh, you can take a teaspoon every day of the oil. If you have sluggish mm -hmm. gallbladder, you can take a tablespoon a day. What does a sluggish gallbladder well, mean? Well, that's the person that's congested and doesn't digest well, gets bloated after mm -hmm. they eat. They have they may even have gallstones. Yeah. Uh, they have a history of uh, pale skin and and you know like mm -hmm. beach ball abdomen and constipation and mm -hmm. poor digestion and heartburn. Yeah. These are all medical things, but that's typical of the gallbladder type. Okay. Now, we're not trying to cure yeah. everything here. No. This is information. Now, now with oil of, or the oregano that I use, oil of oregano, which is edible and high yeah. quality, I like to take, you know, two or three drops every other day. Mm -hmm. well, I take more than that, but for the average person, it protects you. Now, a lot of your listeners are going to call in and say, you know, I tried that and I don't get sick anymore. I don't get colds anymore. And if I take it for colds or flu, like the mm -hmm. prophet said, I don't get the colds or flu. Yes. So, okay. I, I remember I now, used to take the black seed with honey. Put, uh, you know, honey and good put idea. some black seed on it. I like that idea. You mm -hmm. could do that um, and have that, a tablespoon of that every day. Yes. It's better to have it every day. Mm -hmm. It stimulate the system. Yeah. 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 Very good. What and other... Even our own prophet, you know, because he had that poison and, and yes. you know, he got sick and weak. Mm -hmm. and they didn't have an antidote, you yes. see. So, so what other herbs should people be using? Barbara? Well, uh, one of the other things is, uh, is the raw honey. It's herbal because the bees visit all the herbage and that's a concentrate of, of medicine. But is this pasteurized honey we have at home, is that the same? No, it's not the same. So pasteurized what do we do? is not the same. Here's how you do it. Take your honey and take yes. a warm, a warm, lukewarm glass of water. Take a okay. spoon, dip it in. Put that spoon of honey down into the bottom. And the if warm it melts, water? Yeah, warm, lukewarm. Yeah. If it melts easily, it's no quality. It's not no. It's low quality. So what do we do? Where do I buy the quality if honey? If you have to take a long time to stir it, you can go into a health food store. Some of the soup super stores do have a mm -hmm. little bit of higher quality. Most of it's pasteurized. There's a wild oregano honey now in the market. There's manuka. You have to search for it, and you can import it. Mm -hmm. You know, there's cider honey, but that's expensive and more rare from Yemen. But uh, it's you know, you have to. There's Canadian farmers that you stop and honey sign, and you ask them how high do you. And heat that's it. natural honey. It's natural honey, but canola honey is an issue because the genetically engineered canola. So you want to try to find more of a wildflower honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but do they feed the bees sugar? I, I address these things, mm -hmm. somewhat complex. But yeah. Now, another important natural medicine that uh, the Prophet Muhammad saw, so, and yeah. this is the winter, yeah. and this is also a summer food, but especially winter, is squash. Okay. Squash and pumpkin is a very rich food. Ooh. It's almost like having a vegetable steak. It has beta carotene, it has folic acid, it has trace mineral, it has uh, copper, it has silicon it's a very rich thing and you should have squash soup as often as you can or you should chop up pumpkin all the ethnic people used to do this and mm -hmm. chop it and put it in the curries squash and pumpkin as much as you can what about a pumpkin pie does it lose any of its thing <laughs> or, well you that's know, what we usually uh, eat you know what my friend here's yes. what's happened to the communities they have uh, uh, they have accepted the system wholesale yeah uh, we now eat so much sugar. I found this out that it's blowing us up. It's ruining our health, ruining our glands, giving us a diabetes. If you want to make pumpkin pie, get the pumpkin can, get the organic, take honey, crush some pecans and butter and make a pecan and butter so, uh, mm -hmm. crust. Don't make it with wheat or make whole wheat crust. And use the honey and, and yeah. the cream. Mm -hmm. That's natural pie. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me ask you, I see a lot of people in their tea, instead of using sugar, they use honey. Is that effective? or? If people in the teens that use honey, if they're using the raw honey, in uh, tea. this, in this the is tea. a good idea yeah. because cane sugar is depleted. It has mm -hmm. Cane sugar is also filtered usually with carbon. Do you know where they get the carbon from? No. Pork and beef bones. Okay. So they take bones, dry them into carbon or, you know, and mm -hmm. burn them into carbon, 
filter it, and that's to get every last mineral out of it so that the brown or the gray cane sugar can turn mm -hmm. crystal white. Okay. So that it can turn into a samarial mm -hmm. cocaine poison. Okay. And I'll tell you what, the ethnic people, the people of color, many times, all people, but especially our ethnic populations, because they're weak genetically to this, are destroying themselves with sugar. Yeah. Their genes can like this like the Native Americans, their genes are too raw, mm -hmm. and they take the sugar and it wipes them out. They end up with heart disease, diabetes, mm -hmm. and all the syndrome X, yeah, hypertension. Yeah. Yeah. And all preventable. Not salt. Eliminate the sugar. Mm -hmm. You want sugar? Go get a sugar cane and chew on it. 